Hi there, here's your cycling vlogger Ken and Danny. Today I'm preparing an episode or two about rim brakes versus disc brakes on road bikes specifically. Uh, I'm going to show you also what kind of problems you might experience with the full carbon rims uh, with the, on the uh, rim brakes, on the calipers. But today we are looking at my Cat 10 here and I will show you how to maintain those calipers in order to extend the lifetime uh, of your rims. So let's hit it. So here it is, uh, my older subscribers uh, will know that I used to run the RS11 Shimano wheel set on this bike, which were just stock wheels. These are there. I'm using those for the uh, turbo trainer right now. Uh, and with the 105 uh, 5800 calipers, uh, it was just okay. But I'm feeling like those wheels I have right now, which is the Ultigra 6600 with my Titan uh, brakes. I feel like this material is a bit too soft for the brakes. It might be the problem. So I'm gonna change the braking pads uh, and check it out. But so far I have to maintain this. So what's the problem here? Uh, even after braking like, like this one, I'm gonna show you right now. So that was the braking from maybe like 25 uh, miles uh, per hour and when I'm almost stopping uh, my bike, um, those pads, even though these were clean when I was leaving home, uh, when I'm coming back home, these are full of some uh, particles of some metal, uh, little like stones or rocks. So let's just see how it, how it sounds uh, right now. It sounds awful and also you might see those little parts of the metal that are just flying around here. That means I'm wearing down my uh, rim quite quickly. So make sure you're checking always uh, your uh, rim surface. Uh, it should be even, uh, it should not have such shape. Uh, but you, you wanna also make sure if you have the indicators like this one, that it's not too thin. This one is still okay. So I'm still having some material for the braking left on the rim. Uh, but with such braking, when I'm going for some mountains, uh, I will be able to wear down this rim very, very quickly. So let's just remove the wheel and I will show you what to do it to extend the life of your rim. So the rim is um, off and you can see that those um, braking pads don't look very good. I mean, um, I, I still have plenty of the material of those, but in those you can see those little parts of the metal that is simply taken from the, uh, from the rim. It's also down here and it's on both sides. Uh, it depends on the material of the rim and also on the braking pads, like on my killer that you can see right there. When I'm running steel V-brakes, I just love them. Uh, I would use some sharp object to take those little parts of the metal and it works fine. For this um, kind of uh, braking pads and my Ultigra wheels, it's just not enough because still uh, there should be only like this, let's say rubber of the braking pads, but nothing else left uh, here. So what I am going to do is to take a file and just clean those very, very well. This is the file I'm going to use. Uh, having such cloth here is a really a uh, good idea because uh, all those uh, dirty things that will just uh, come off from those uh, braking pads will be stopped here. Uh, and also it's, uh, an, uh, it's an additional protection for your fork because you have to be really careful when doing this. Uh, it's e really easy to damage your fork and I did uh, make some scratch uh, on my fork unfortunately because it looks so awesome but there's one scratch on this blade here because I wasn't just um, super careful and you have to be super careful because you can just forget about it when doing this uh, and damage your fork at least uh, the paint so that's uh, what I'm doing here uh, so it was it wasn't enough just to take a screwdriver and just uh, and remove some of those little rocks from your uh, braking pads. What's important here, I, I don't want to change uh, the angle of the surface of my braking pads. You know, you know, you will always uh, do it just a little bit, uh, but uh, after maybe three or four times when you're braking, uh, it will be even and, and parallel to the wheel, to the rim 
uh, once more, once again. Uh, I have to be careful with my braking, um, with my brakes as well here. So just do it, do it little by little, and you will see what's still just underneath this surface. So the braking pads should be very, very clean. And I'm going to show you that in a second. So I'm done cleaning it. Um, you can still see, see some holes here, but these are just like empty holes. Uh, if, uh, if you are cleaning the pads, in, you will still see some like shiny metallic objects. You just continue uh, just wearing down the braking pads. And that's, that's correct. If you wanted to ask me the question, uh, are we not wearing the braking pads? Yes, we do, we do it and we will have to replace those, bra those uh, braking pads more often. Uh, but we are saving what's more precious, which is the rim brake. So this is how it looks like right now. Uh, and when braking, I don't want to hear any like metallic harsh sound. Uh, it should feel like a rubber against aluminum. And let's check it out. Yeah, it's now just fine. We can only hear the rubber braking against the uh, the rim brake. Um, unfortunately, on this uh, set, like this rim and those braking pads, uh, just one stopping, really one stopping from maybe like 25 miles, miles an hour to zero uh, will put some, some uh, particles uh, once more in my braking pads. So I do have to, it, I have to do it uh, quite often. You can, of course, uh, remove your braking pads, especially if it's uh, fast and, and easy, so that you, on, you want to have readjust your calipers and clean them but I simply don't have uh, so much time so I'm just removing the wheel uh, cleaning those uh, pads just as I did that just as I did uh, before uh, and that's it so that was my tip for you guys uh, I hope my old Tigras will still run for a couple of uh, thousands of uh, kilometers at least because let's be honest uh, if this one wears down I will have to uh, just buy another wheel I won't find this rim also if I was to run like let's say very popular Mavic Serium wheels which I like so much uh, the rim itself from Mavic will cost a lot of money they have they have all those you know parts you can buy but those are super overpriced so make sure if you don't have these brakes you really take care of your rims let me know in the comment section uh, maybe some of your tips how to extend the life of the rim perhaps the braking pads as well and i will see you soon thanks for watching your thumbs up and your support bye